Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at how Roku just made it harder for your Roku players and TVs to be hacked. They had some cool new features to give you even more security control. But this all comes after a story a few months ago that said that Roku TVs and other brand TVs and Roku players were susceptible to being hacked. According to the author of that story, they basically said, hey, with using apps like Roku, the Roku app on your phone, tablet, um, and et cetera, will allow you to control your TV. This could allow somebody who you don't want to, to take over your TV, put YouTube videos up there, put movies, pictures, or heck, just be a jerk and raid the best part of Stranger Things, turn the TV off. Um, this um, so-called hack kind of caused a lot of stir because people said, well, is it really a hack? It's a feature, especially since in order to do it, they have to be on your same Wi-Fi network. So if they're already on your Wi-Fi network, there's probably a lot more things you should be worried about than them playing a YouTube video on your TV. So before I show you what Roku did, one of the things I would strongly encourage everybody to do, if you're worried about your Roku player or your Roku TV being hacked, make sure you have a good Wi-Fi network password. Don't make it your last name, don't make it your kid's address or uh, names, your home address. You know, make it something that people won't easily guess because I bet your neighbors are in the area. And heck, uh, you know, if I'm uh, somebody who's looking to do trouble, I say, hey, I know the Smiths live across the street. I can get their, wi their Wi-Fi from here and their password is Smith. Hey, let me um, do my illegal downloading through there so they get the copyright complaint and I don't. So I would recommend you always have a good password. One of the things I've heard recently is sentences are becoming very popular as a secure form of password. Like the, um, the dog ran down the river, exclamation mark, two, three, four, five, or something like that. So it makes it a longer password, harder to guess, but having it sent a sentence is a lot easier to remember than a random series of jumbled letters. So if you do nothing else, remember that. But hey, weapons if you're traveling, weapons if you're in a hotel that maybe the hotel doesn't have the greatest Wi-Fi security, like a big name brand, you're saying a little bed and breakfast, but you want to bring a Roku stick. How do you make sure no one's going to cast um, inappropriate content to your Roku when you're at this bed and breakfast. Roku thought of that and they added a new feature recently since this was um, whole thing started that will allow you to have additional security. So the first thing you're gonna do is go into settings, go into systems in the settings menu, and then scroll down to advanced system settings. This is a new area that was recently added. I'm not sure when, I'm guessing in the 9.0 update. Some of this content is just moved from other areas like the factory reset, network um, connection reset where you can go in if you're having problems with your Wi-Fi and just delete all your Wi-Fi settings and start from fresh. Device connect, this is where you will be able to set up like your smart TV, uh, um, speakers and other kind of things through it. Uh, and then lastly, control by mobile apps. Now this is where you can say, hey, Roku, I don't want my TV to be accessible through the YouTube app or the Roku app on different ones. So right here you have a few options. By default, it is set up to be only available on private networks. So if it's a network without a password, um, Roku will automatically not allow apps to connect. But like I said, you're in a hotel that everybody has the same password. It's a little bed and breakfast type hotel. And the security is probably not the greatest at it. Well, now you have a few options. You can go in here and select um, permissive. So permissive means that you can still allow apps to connect to it, the uh, YouTube app or the Roku app. But a little pop-up will come and say, hey, somebody is trying to take over the TV or send a video or you know, do some type of control of the TV through an app. Would you like to allow us yes, no? Um, great feature here if you have kids or a spouse that likes to just be a jerk sometimes and um, take it over. Um, or you can just go, hey, no matter what, I don't want anybody on a mobile app to be able to control this um, at all, so I'm gonna disable it. So no one through apps, even if they're on my Wi-Fi, can access this. So real quick again, you get to this from the settings menu, select system, and then you're looking for the advanced system settings and then scroll down until you find control by apps in the events um, system settings, and here's where you can do that. Now, again, a few things to remember with this. They have to be on your Wi-Fi pass uh, network, so make sure you don't have a Wi-Fi password out there that everybody can easily guess. Number two, uh, I wouldn't necessarily de uh, disable this unless you really know it's gonna be an issue. 
I have a six year old who likes to hide the remotes. I think she thinks, she's always worried that the video I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna turn on the TV and she's gonna lose her spot. So she likes to hide the remote. And sometimes she just loses the remote by accident. Uh, and I love the ability to come in here and say, hey, I'm gonna go use my app to quickly connect to the Roku TV to until I can find where the remote went and um, continue to use my Roku TV. So there's a lot of features out here that will um, make you wanna have it. The ability to cast a video or cast a picture from your phone to your TV to show maybe everybody, hey, grandparents are over, we're showing them the dance recital video I have on my phone. Instead of trying to get her on the phone, with the Roku app, you can cast it to your Roku TV or Roku player and easily access it. So uh, before you just go out there and get rid of it, I would do your best to um, think about, hey, is my Wi-Fi password secure? If I am worried about that, maybe I do the permission one where I get a uh, pop-up here, or maybe, hey, I just don't use the apps at all, I don't care about the apps, so then I'm just gonna go and completely disable it so I have a peace of mind to know that's not an issue. Hey, but fingers crossed, it won't be one in the future. Are you uh, new here? Did this video help you? Hey, if this video helped you, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, um, we do a lot of videos like this. We do a weekly core kind of Q&A. We do a weekly core kind of recap show, reviews, how to's, and uh, tips and tricks like you just saw here. So hit that subscribe button, it'll really help us. Uh, we're on our way to 100,000 this year. Subscribers, we would appreciate your help to hit that. So until next time, again, take care. Hopefully this helped you um, address any concerns you may have about the security of your Roku, and maybe just learn something new about your Roku or Roku um, TV. So thanks for watching. We'll see you back here real soon.